Hey, happy Saturday, everybody. I was just live on TikTok, but I want to come on live here really quickly. Okay, I'm not going to be on here too long, but um, I wanted to talk about myomectomies, fibroid surgeries, and other uterine surgeries as well, because it seems like a lot of women in 2024 still think that these surgeries will save them. Okay, these surgeries are not going to save you, okay? I posted a um, a video, this was a while ago, but people are still commenting on, on it till today, about a woman going in for fibroid surgery. She had a huge belly and people, it looked like she was pregnant. People thought, some people thought she was pregnant with twins. She's not pregnant at all. She's literally going in for, to have a myomectomy um, to get fibroids removed. And it's, I mean, her fibroid had to be very, very large, which a lot of women do have very large fibroids. So it's not unheard of, okay? I don't understand why people are still shocked to see things like this because maybe it's because of what I do. Um, I see this all the time. And I just posted also too, um, there was a, um, a celebrity, well, the daughter of a celebrity, Nate, uh, Deion Sanders, I'm sure you guys know him. His daughter um, had to have, Deandra, had to have four myomectomies. She's only 32 and she is currently pregnant with five boys after having four myomectomies. Five, myomectomies are five boy removal surgeries, okay? Um, after going through that, and then now she's pregnant with fibroids still, after going through getting them removed four times, you see they continue to come back until you get to the root cause of the problem. She now has to have a surgery during, a risky procedure during um, pregnancy called a cervical surclotch because that means that this, the cervix is weak, okay? The cervix is weak and the baby's coming out. So they, they, when they go in, they go in and sew the cervix up so it doesn't, the baby doesn't fall out because she's very early in her pregnancy, okay? Having to do that is extremely scary. That surgery actually is very risky for pregnant women. If you've ever, if you've ever had a cervical cerclage, let me know. There's women that's been in my DM since yesterday who's had to have it, okay? Hey, ladies that are in, if you guys are in, um, hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. I wanted to talk about today about how these fibroid surgeries, these fibroid removal surgeries, and how these uterine surgeries are just dangerous at this point, and why are we still having them in 2024? If you guys have questions, please let me know. Um, but for those of you that are new to me, my name is Sasha. I'm a holistic woman wellness specialist, and what I do is I help women who have fibroids, who have endometriosis, other reproductive health issues, get to the root cause of the problem in order to get rid of the problem from the root, okay, from the root. That means that we address, you know, the hormonal imbalances, gut health, we address even mindset stuff because people bury trauma in the womb and they create fibroids. We address lifestyle habits. We address everything that created those fibroids to occur, okay, from the liver to the kidneys. We address that and get to the root cause of the problem so that that person can have their fibroids shrink and dissolve, okay? I've helped many women, many, many women get, not just shrink their fibroids, but get rid of fibroids, be able to get pregnant after years of infertility, get rid of endometriosis, okay, Peace, reverse PCOS, rebalance their hormones, get out of perimenopause, okay, because that's not a real thing. We've, because of our bad habits, we've literally created a new sickness, okay, but don't get me started on that. I've helped women get out of what they thought was menopause and many other things, okay, many other things when you address the root cause and actually address the pro and solve the problem from the root you actually get to experience real healing hi zoe happy to have you on make sure that you are um you are you guys tag somebody who needs to hear this or share this share this video with somebody that needs to hear this message okay you can share this video um whether you want to share it in their inbox or share it on your page share, because so many women are suffering hey angela how are you hey nice to see you here so it's so many women who are suffering with these issues, okay? So many women. And I get inboxes and they break my heart. Every single day, they break my heart. And women thinking that they have no choice but to have surgery. They have no choice but to have a myomectomy. But this is literally killing them, okay? Whew. Let me just let me just say this. So we've literally, I just posted again of a woman that's had four myomectomies. Why don't we understand in 2024 that these surgeries are not getting to the root cause of the problem, that these surgeries are actually causing more issues? These, the fact that she's had four myomectomies, imagine the scar tissue. Thank you so much, Angela. Thank you. I appreciate it. When you have surgery to the uterus, right? When you have a uterine surgery, you're creating scar tissue, right? You're creating scar tissue. And the more you have, the more scar tissue that your uterus will have. And this scar tissue builds up in the uterus and blocks the tubes. This scar tissue builds up in the uterus and causes issues with the cervix. Okay, this scar tissue builds up in the uterus and causes issues 
you know, cause you, make it harder to get pregnant for some women who have these surgeries. So it's very important that you don't, again, um, continuously get cut into, get cut into, get cut into. When, at what point are you going to get to the root cause of the problem and say, wait a minute now, wait a minute. It's actually, there's a, there's a reason why these fibroids continue to occur. What, like, what's the, like, what's the point of continuously going through the pain of surgery, going through the pain of removing endometriosis, going through the pain of removing cysts, if we're not addressing the root cause? And I see too many women doing that, not understanding it's going to come back. The video I posted a, a while ago, there's women still commenting on it saying that, oh, I've had surgery to remove my fibroids. I'm fine. No, you're not. As a matter of fact, if you've had surgery to remove your fibroids, you have to even do more because, listen, you've lost a, lot, a large amount of blood. You're dealing with a lot of trauma to the lymphatic system. And when we traumatize that lymphatic system that we need to really help our body get rid of toxins that we need for our immune system, right, it takes a while for it to repair. So we have to do even more to prevent the fibroids from coming back. Why do you think women are getting fibroids uh, again so quickly and they're getting it more aggressive more aggressively than they did in the first time because there's a much more trauma to the body there's much more trauma to the body now right so that makes it even more makes fibroid makes it a lot easier for fibroids to develop okay and imagine not just the emotional trauma but the physical trauma your body goes through when you've had a surgery like that and then you end up getting fibroids again okay so we again it's so important for us to address the root cause I get it that you know, a lot of people don't want to change their diet. They don't want to change their toxic lifestyles. They don't want to get out of to their toxic habits. But you have to if you want to seek healing. When you have fibroids, when you have endometriosis, when you have ovarian cysts, PCOS, perimenopause, you're having, a, you're having an emo, like a hormonal like disruption going on in the body. And this hormonal disruption is going to cause you to have present physical symptoms, emotional symptoms. That's why a lot of people have anxiety, depression, right? Due to imbalances in the body, imbalances in the gut. They have all these symptoms, not knowing that when they get their body in balance, when they get rid of toxins, they're not going to have these issues, okay? So with you continuously allowing yourself to have these surgeries and not getting to the root cause of the problem, what you're doing is that you're setting yourself up to have a very hard time physically because you're going to present physical, you know, symptoms emotionally because, again, this causes emotional symptoms and also mentally as well. So literally you're setting yourself up for, you know, a, a really lowering your quality of life significantly, okay? And we know that women that have fibroids, their quality of life is low, because we're dealing with these crazy cycle periods, we're dealing with these anemia, we're dealing with all these other issues that come about, come along with fibroids. Did you know that 53.7% of women that are dealing with fibroids, it's a, they suffer daily, not monthly, on their daily, daily, okay? What about women who literally have this huge bloated stomach due to fibroids, right? We're about, it's about to be summertime now. What about women that also have a huge bloated stomach due to endometriosis, I mean, endometriosis due to PCOS? These are things that we can get rid of on our own, okay? And I know this slide is going to piss a lot of people off, but I'm, I, I'm sharing truths here, okay? You have, to, like, you have to understand you're not getting to the root cause of the problem by having surgery. You're literally causing more damage. How many more stories do we have to listen to? Like, how many more? We've had, we, there's a woman, a black woman who's 32 years old, four or five boy surgeries. What kind of surgeon would do that to... To, to a woman, cutting to her uterus before she even had her first child, continue cutting to her, to her uterus, getting fibroids out, and it keeps regrowing. Why hasn't somebody in her circle have said, wait a minute, let's actually get to the root cause of what's causing these fibroids. So you don't have to continuously have surgery. So you don't have to have this high-risk pregnancy, which she's already having right now. So that's going to be you unless you get to the root cause of the problem. Okay? Who wants to deal with an extremely high-risk pregnancy at the age of 32? Who wants to do that? Like, she's young. And they're saying that only women in, that's 35 and over, you know, are dealing with high-risk pregnancy. That's not true. A lot of young people these days are, too, because, again, the, the um, overall, our, you know, as a collective, our health is horrible, and we we're not doing anything about it. From our hormonal health, you know, women are now getting perimenopausal in their 20s, which is crazy. I they just did a workshop. Women were saying, yeah, I've gotten perimenopausal symptoms in my 20s, in my early 30s. Perimenopausal symptoms. Okay, I, if you haven't watched my video on that, I did a whole video on that. You could, something you're going to completely avoid. Something that women are suffering with for, for 10 plus years. That's, that affects them emotionally, mentally. That affects their relationships, their sex life, everything. Their work life, their happiness, everything. But you're choosing that life because you don't want to do the work to, to not, again, you don't want to do the work 
to get your body in balance so you don't have to deal with it anymore. Why would you choose that life? Why? For what? It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. So we got to do better. These surgeries are not getting to the root cause of the problem. They're not there to save you. Who wants to continuously have it? Who wants to continue to have myomectomies for the rest of their lives? We have, we have women who are dealing with fibroids. Postmenopause fibroids is at a high right now. Women that's 50s, 60s, bleeding profusely. Thought that they were they were in menopause, boom, fibroids, because again, they didn't get to the root cause of the problem. Menopause does not take away fi fibroids. I, I don't care what your doctor says. I have, do the research. There's a huge number of women in their 50s, 60s, even 70s dealing with fibroids. 70s dealing with fibroids. So do you want to go from to deck like you guys that are watching, do you want to go, like they have fibroids, do you want to go through decades of suffering? Is it worth it just because you don't want to get to the root cause of the problem? Okay, so if you have, um, you know, these fibroid surgeries, not only do they cause these myomectomies, not only do they cause uterine scarring, not only can they do damage around the surrounding organs, right? We also have to talk about um, how it can, it can weaken your cervix because it can cause damage to the cervix, which is why this poor woman, Deandra Sanders, had to have a cervical cerclage, which is why there's pregnant women who have to get their, you know, their cervix sold up so the baby doesn't drop down because you're dealing with a weaker uterus after you've cut into it so many times. You've cut into it so many times, okay? So what about the blood loss, right? What about, there's so many things that can go wrong when, you've had, when you continuously have these surgeries, when you continue to have these surgeries. There's so many things that can go wrong. So at what point do we say that, wait a minute, let me actually go to get to the root cause of the problem? Like, Y'all are quiet. <laughs> at what point do we... I'm asking y'all. At what point do we say that? At what point do we say that? Because it's, it's just getting too much. It's getting too much. There was a woman that commented on my uh, page just there on the De DeAndre Sanders saying that there's nobody out there, to, you know, saying that you can get rid of five boys. Listen, I've been, I've been talking about this for years. I've been helping women for years. What are you talking about? Right? I've been literally doing this for years. Years. You just haven't, just say you haven't found anybody, okay? There's women out here that, there's other women like me too who have been helping women get rid of fibroids, who have been helping women get rid of endometriosis, ovarian cysts, and have been successful at it, have lots of testimonials, right? Have lots of reviews that have been helping women get their bodies healthy, but the choice is yours. Do you want, do you want to actually do the work or you don't, okay? So I literally had a workshop that was like, what, just $55? I caught a few days ago, and shout out to the woman that came, okay, that was helping women get to the root cause of um, estro estrogen dominance, helping them resolve estrogen dominance, which is what you have when you have fibroids, what you have when you have endometriosis or any of these reproductive health issues. Most women have an estrogen dominance, and it causes breast cancer. You know, it can cause, excuse me, breast cancer. It um, heightens the risk of breast cancer. It heightens the risk of endometrial cancer, cervical cancer. So not just HPV can cause cervical cancer, so can estrogen dominance, okay? And most people get um, cervical cancer due to estrogen dominance more than P um, HPV, okay? And when you have um, estrogen dominance, you actually can, it's easier to develop abnormal cells in the cervix, okay? So just putting that out there because we're so, we want to get all these garden seal, get all the shots and everything for HPV, but we don't care about estrogen dominance. We don't care about our health right you can't inject health i don't care what nobody says you can't inject health you have to actually do the work to get your body healthy how are your sleep patterns how's your gut health what are you feeding your body with every day what are you feeding your mind with every day what kind of relationships are you engaging in like these are all things that matter right that and much more when you have reproductive health issues okay thank you angela yeah because it you know people don't get it like, what are you engaging? What are you doing every day? Like, are you, are you getting enough sleep, right? Are you, are you eating foods that are rich in nutrients? Are you actually getting enough hydration, okay? Are you um, also, uh, are you also, uh, do you also have a creative outlet? That's another thing as well. Do you also do things for your, um, your inner child, right? That as well. A lot of women are just, they're living in autopilot. And they're literally just working responsibilities. That's, and they're miserable. They have anxiety, depression. They're on anxiety pills, depression pills, not knowing that stuff is hormonal. And then when they do the, when they do the, um, when they do the work to get their, their hormones in balance, they're not going to feel those, those, um, that they're not going to feel anxiety. They're not going to feel, these are hormonal imbalances. These are the result of estrogen dominance. Okay, so I, I say this to say that when you don't do the work, when you don't, when you keep having these surgeries, when you don't get your body in balance, when you don't get your hormones in balance, you keep having these surgeries, these um, fibroid surgeries or surgeries to remove endometrial tissue, whatever, right? 
you commit to a life of suffering. You do because you will still have these hormonal imbalances. You still have these toxins in your body. You still have this weakened lymphatic system. You still have weakened immune system. You still have what caused these issues to occur. So then guess what? This, you, that means you suffer with the physical symptoms of this stuff. You suffer with the emotional symptoms and also the mental, the, you suffer mentally as well, okay? So you're never gonna, again, you're not, you cannot escape getting to the root cause, y'all. You can't escape it unless you wanna sign up for a miserable life. That's just it. That's just it. I, I'm sorry. We're there right now. Look at what's going on. We have 15 year olds having huge fibroids. That never happened back in the time when I was that age. There weren't 15 year olds getting fibroids and you know, back in back when I was that age. But now there is. We have women that are 30, 25 running to IVF because they cannot get pregnant. That's where we're at right now. It's things are have changed and it's getting serious serious. Okay. So if you're not doing the work to get your body in balance, if you actually have a hormonal imbalances, fibroids, endometriosis, heavy bleeding, you know, uh, ovarian cysts, uterine polyps, and you're not doing anything about it. Listen, you're going to suffer, okay? And stop waiting to do something about it. Actually, when you, I have a woman literally said, shout out to Sarah, and I posted a video, I posted her testimonial video. Shout out to her. As soon as she found out she had a fibroid, she was on all over TikTok, all over Google. She found me, boom, boom. She got the 12 steps on how to shoot your fibroids full bundle course. Boom. That same night, she, I was like, wow, she just found out she had fibroids, okay? And she's two weeks later, she, she posted a testimonial video. Two weeks later, she said that she, she got her cycle and it was like, it literally was no symptoms, no cramping. She usually has like all this bloating, all this cramping. Like, so you can tell her body's starting to heal, right? So she's like, I've never felt like this before. I feel so much better. In just two weeks of using the, the course, the 12 steps on how to shake your five boys full bundle course. One of the most popular courses I sell, okay? That literally will help you shrink and get rid of your five boys. It's a self-study course. Yes, thank you so much, Angela. I was... And she was so she was so like so amazed that she posted a testimonial video. So you hear it out of her own mouth, not even my mouth, her mouth. Okay. And I have lots of videos where you're hearing cl from clients their own mouth of them telling you their experience. Okay. So you don't have you never have to suffer. And people cannot keep saying that they don't. There's nobody out here helping with fibroids. There's nobody. People have to stop. People have to stop because I get irritated when I hear things like that because literally I get it. I don't have that many followers. Okay. But I have people referring me to people. There's other women too, helping women, women with, with things like this. So there's no, at this point in 2024, there's no excuses. There's just none, no excuses. If you don't know, get somebody that knows. There's no excuse to be ignorant. And this, there's just no excuse. Okay? No excuse. So I say all that to say that, listen, you have to save you. A surgery is not going to save you. You have to save you. Okay? You have to say, make, so what, if you, um, whether you want to work, you know, work with somebody else or work with me, that's totally fine. I don't mind, but just do something, do something to save yourself. You, you have to save you. Nobody's coming to save you. And all these people too, and people are going to get mad at me and click off too. But here's the thing. People that say, I'm, I'm just going to pray it away and I'm not going to do any work. I'm just going to pray it away. Faith without works is dead. Okay. Faith without works is dead. So you can sit there and pray from now and you're not doing anything to get rid of these fibroids and this, these, this heavy bleeding, nothing's going to happen. You, nothing's going to happen. Nothing will happen. Nothing. Okay. So <sighs> I say, <laughs> I say all that to say, listen, I have a, my six week hormone reset coming up on the 1st of May. I'm so excited. Three women literally just signed up yesterday. I'm so excited. Definitely going to need you on my podcast when it launches. Really want more women to heal. Yes. Like, Angela, I have so many people ask me for podcasts. And um, yes, definitely. Um, but I feel like women that really, when it comes to women healing, right, typically, never mind. We'll talk later about that. We'll talk later about that. But I have, because I have my theory on stuff like that. Um, but um, I do want to say this. For women that actually care, that actually want to get to the root cause of their problem, that want to understand, listen, these are issues that I have to, I need to address myself. Nobody's coming to save you. You know, um, I do have my six week hormone reset opening up May 1st on Wednesday. Last day to sign up is Tuesday. Okay. That's for women that are interested in working with me. That actually also want to be in the community of other women who are doing the work. We're going to address the root causes of fibroids, the root causes of endometriosis, your, which is hormonal, gut health, right? Liver health, kidney 
support inflammation. We're doing all that stuff, right? We're gonna we're gonna address all the, these root causes of your issues, even mindset, right? Even a lot of spiritual stuff. Because you have this when you have heavy bleeding. Trust me, and I've worked with many clients. It's 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 the mind, right? It's the mind, right? And when I say it's the mind, I'm talking about you're holding a lot of trauma in the womb space. You're holding a lot of trauma in the body. Okay. So, um, hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you're, if you actually want to address the root cause, you actually want to be in a community of women that's, that's healing with you as well, which makes it a lot better when you're in community. Check out my six week hormone reset intensive. Again, um, the link is in my caption. It should be in my caption. Check it out. If you have any questions about it, make sure you also send me a DM. I'm really excited. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm excited about it. I cannot wait because again, our last six week intensive have been amazing. The testimonials have been amazing. I've had people like they were bleeding from bleeding. One person said nine to 17 days of heavy bleeding, heavy clots, heavy, having to be rushed to the hospital every time she has a cycle because she had to get her blood pumped into her, a blood transfusion, transfusion. That bad, cycles are that are that bad, Dr feeling drained, couldn't even go to work. That's how drained and, 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 um, horrible her cycles were. And now her cycle, her, her cycle in the program four weeks later was what? Uh, two days, two days lights. And she felt amazing, L painless, no clots. After, after expelling large clots in the past, having to be rushed to the hospital every time she has a cycle, she went from that to two, for two day cycles. Okay. And six weeks, less than, less than six weeks, actually four weeks. Okay. So I'm just so proud. There's so many amazing testimonials. It's, but you guys know my this Why You Wound program. If you've been following me any length of the time, that's the, the big program, the signature program, the exclusive program. That program has produced a lot of results. And even the six weeks have produced a lot of results, okay, as well. So if you're interested in, if interested in working with me, click the link in my caption. And if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in my, um, click the link in my description box. Check it out. See if it's for you, all right? If you have any questions, Feel free to DM me. I'm going to get off of here. Let you guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. All right. Bye, ladies.